So, uh, it's 11 p.m. I've been, uh, I've been doing a lot of stuff all day. And uh, an, hour, an hour ago, <clears throat> I was working on today's poster. And I came up with something cool, something new, the technique, the way it worked. So I'm gonna stop looking at the camera at all and I'm gonna start showing you. So yeah, <clears throat> first of all, I saw I work with, um, with hexes. I'm gonna show you the whole process. So first of all, the background, then I made a couple of, um, it's a brush actually, nothing, nothing fancy. I add these by brush, I add these by brush, these, these, all right? And then I group them, I've merged them, I add liquify filter, added saturation, I merge everything. I added noise to the merge and I, I write down what I do like add noise plus 10 Gaussian mono, monochromatic I guess that's what it's called and then I kept playing I decided to play with the different filters I, I was actually looking for a specific filter but I found something new and um, I'm pretty happy with what I found. So, I went to filter, other, HSB, HSL, I don't even know what it stands for. And I kept playing with input and row order. And um, this, is, this is what I came up with. And I thought it's pretty cool. So, then I kept playing with the, with the blending of this layer and I decided I'm gonna use scar dodge try them on every layer worked on the hex I thought it was so too bright but I wanted bright but not that bright so I played with the <laughs> the blending mode of the hexes as well where did it go yeah okay I did light, uh, lighten, and I think uh, I've set it uh, maybe at 40% opacity or something like that. Anyway, and then I've merged it all. And I made a copy again, added a curves, curves layer. I work with a horizontal curves layer and I, I, I really think you should look that up on YouTube. <coughs> Uh, I think you should look that on YouTube. It's pretty interesting and it's really helpful when you're editing pictures. And I may I make it to overlay because look, if you if it's normal, it messes up the colors. I don't want it to mess the colors. I want it to be overlay or soft light. This soft light is pretty cool as well. But I've chosen overlay, so I'm gonna keep it overlay. <coughs> then. I made a copy, merged it, desaturated it, added a, la uh, a levels adjustment, merged it, then made a selection of the whites. You can make the selection in a, this is not a tutorial, but I'm gonna tell you. You can make the selection of the whites in a couple of um, methods. You can go to color range, highlights, this one, two, this is what I use. You press Alt or Option. You click on the eye. It hides everything except the layer you chose. You go to Channels. You can choose the, the channel you want to sample the, the selection from. Press Command, Control, left click, and here's the selection. It's almost the same thing, but I like to work that way. <clears throat> anyway, 
And I think it's gonna, it's, it makes a pretty cool brush, really, treated, and I'm gonna use it. I have to duplicate it before I forget that I'm gonna, gonna use it as a brush. Yep, new, yes, this is what I want. Oh, I also I work on, a, on that bright uh, background, uh, Matt, whatever you call it, because mostly I'm gonna post my post my my poster creation on on Instagram and Instagram is interface is white, so you need to have a balance and see it because when it's dark, as you can see, it feels different. So I'm gonna show you with uh, with colors. Like, feels a little different oh no it doesn't seem that different because I have a template but look without the template I think there's a difference anyway this is how it work and that's that <laughs> uh, yeah so I made the selection I came back to this layer and duplicated the selection. And look what I have. That's new. And if I posted it just without any explanation, I get I get questions. I get questions on DM. How do you do that? And this is not something I can explain even if I tried. So yeah, never mind. Probably I'm gonna play some more and I'm not sure if I should play and record no uh, maybe next time not this time because I've recorded this video twice already and there's always something wrong I look horrible I don't know what's wrong with my eyes I should wear a patch like Firmino do you watch football this is plain stupid. I'm tired. Thank you for watching. If you did, I guess, I guess you're here. Hey, uh, yeah. I don't remember the guy who used to say that on on YouTube, but he he used to say, "Thank you for watching. If you did, I guess you did. If you're here, so yeah. Probably the first and last time video, uh, the first and last video I ever do, probably." So thank you for watching and uh, don't forget to like the posts. See ya.